ICSI stands for intracytoplasmic sperm injection. In IVF, there are always two ways to inseminate eggs in the laboratory. One is standard IVF, where you simply take each egg, add a couple hundred thousand sperm, let it fertilize on its own. And the alternative is ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection, is a technique where the embryologist will take each egg, pick one sperm, and physically put it inside. Your doctor may recommend ICSI for you, depending on your individual situation. Reasons to do ICSI include male factor infertility, mild, moderate, or severe. Uh, if you're using sperm that's been cryopreserved or not from the ejaculate, if it came from a testis biopsy, for example, or if there's any history of low or no fertilization with IVF in the past. Whether your chance of success will be higher with ICSI depends on your individual situation. In the United States, the majority of IVF cycles are actually ICSI cycles. Of those folks, the majority do have something to gain because there's a concern that you may not have as good fertilization in the lab without it. The remainder probably don't have anything to gain from ICSI. If the sperm parameters are completely normal and you're expecting to have good fertilization rates, then you may not have anything to benefit. So whether or not ICSI should be used for you really depends on your individual circumstance and that's something for you to discuss in more detail with your doctor.